Hello, beloved people of God. Welcome again. This is Prophetic Tilda here. Protocols will be broken for your sake. <laughs> yes. Just because the Lord wants to bless you, or use you as an instrument to bless others, just because the Lord wants to do a new thing in your life, He will cause things to change. He will give you the face of favor that when you step into a room, the rules begin to change miraculously. That is how our God works. You see the story of Esther, even though it was against the Lord to go into the king's court, Esther said to herself that she would go just to save her people. She would take that risk. She would take that risk. And she said to herself, if I perish, I perish. A lot of you are scared of taking that step. A lot of you are thinking that that would be your end. A lot of you are too nervous to make that move that the Lord has put in your heart to make. But if God has put it in your heart to make that move, it means He's going there with you. Just as He went with Esther into that room. And the moment the king saw her, he didn't remember his laws. He didn't remember what was written. He didn't remember what he had said before. All he, all he saw was Esther. All he thought of was what, how to grant her desires. Even your enemies will begin to grant your heart desires because you are carrying the mark of Christ. Because you are carrying a mark of favor. Because you are chosen. Because the Lord has called you to go into that place and conquer and occupy and do what he wants you to do. If Esther hadn't taken that move, the Jews would have perished. So she knew what she had to do. She knew what she had to do and she went with faith. The Lord wants you to walk with faith today, beloved. He wants you to be strong in your spirit and know that he is with you. That where other men go and fail, where other men go and get disgrace, you shall go and get honor, you shall go and get favor. You shall be successful on that mission as long as it is the will of God. As long as it is the will of God. It was the will of God for Moses to step up to Pharaoh. God knew that no matter what, he would take his children out of Egypt. So it didn't matter how stubborn Pharaoh was. It didn't matter what he did. It didn't matter the stunts he pulled. But at the end of the day, the Israelites left. God wants to use you, some of you, to set others free. God wants to use some of you to give others opportunities to assist others, to help others, to dry the tears of, the, of their eyes. But because you are stuck where you are and you are scared to leave that room, you are scared to leave that position, you do not understand the power that you have in you through Christ Jesus. And when you speak and you stand before even kings, they will listen. You will never know until you make the move that the Lord has asked you to make. You will never know until you take that bold step of faith like Esther did. The Lord has good, good and wonderful plans for his children. Plans to prosper you. He wants to see us elevating. Just as Esther walked in with confidence. God wants you to walk into that, that court. And do what he has asked you to do. He will go with you. He will not leave you. But he has sent you. I'll see you guys next time. Stay blessed.